Today's event is yet a further manifestation of the commitment of government to retool and re-equip the Ghana Armed Forces to enable them to perform their duty of protecting the territorial integrity of our nation. We're gathered here this morning at the 2nd D Naval Base to commission four new vessels acquired for use by the Navy. Even though this is the first time in my period as Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces that such equipment has been procured for the Navy, I can assure you that it will not be the last. Indeed, when I took office as President of the Republic in January 2017, I was taken aback by the state of our armed forces, especially with regards to their operational readiness. It was nothing short of abysmal. We have thus had to take deliberate steps to shore up the capability of the armed forces and that of the other security services. We've had to purchase a significant number of armored personnel carriers, buses and vehicles for the Army, and refurbish the existing fleet of CASA aircraft and helicopters for the Air Force, and placed orders for new fighter jets for them. Today, it is the turn of the Navy. All of these have come at a considerable cost to the Ghanaian taxpayer and at the expense of other equally important sectors of the economy. All our efforts at transforming the Ghanaian economy and putting our nation onto the path of progress and prosperity will be rendered futile if we do not secure our borders and give the Ghanaian people and businesses the serenity of mind to go about their daily activities in an atmosphere of peace and security. Hence the necessity of continuing to equip the security services until the end of my tenure on 7th January 2025. These vessels, Ghana Navy Ship Volta, Ghana Navy Ship Densu, Ghana Navy Ship Pra and Ghana Navy ship Ancobra have been fittingly named after some of the famous rivers of our country. This is in recognition of significant progress being made by the armed forces to end illegal mining in our river bodies and help restore them to their natural state. Naming these ships after them is entirely appropriate. Ladies and gentlemen, Ghana and indeed West Africa are currently confronted with twin threats posed by terrorism and violent extremism from the Sahel, which are rapidly moving southwards in our region, and by piracy in the Gulf of Guinea on our southern borders. The shared nature of these threats demands enhanced collaboration of all security actors within the region. Government is determined to do everything within its power to guarantee the nation's territorial integrity and ensure the safety of Ghanaians. As current chair of the Authority of Heads of State and Government of ECOWAS, coupled with the fact that Ghana has just taken her seat as a non-permanent member of the United Nations Security Council for the years 2022 and 2023, even greater responsibility has been placed on us to lead and coordinate the fight against these transnational threats against Ghana and West Africa. That is why I have charged the highly respected Chief of Defense Staff your very own Vice Admiral Seth Amwama, to work with his counterparts in the region to develop possible courses of action against terrorism, violent extremism, and piracy 
to consideration by the authority of heads of state. Government is in the process of acquiring two offshore patrol vessels with high endurance limits to maintain constant presence at sea. We will also procure some more patrol vessels to respond to the myriad of threats along the coastline. Financing for the acquisition of these ships has already been provided for in the security sector retooling program initiated by the Akufuado government. I want to reaffirm once again my confidence in that of the nation in the competence, dedication, and professionalism of the officers, men and women, and civilian staff of the Ghana Armed Forces their loyalty to the Republic and to the maintenance of its constitutional order continues to be exemplary. I'm glad to note in particular the achievements of the Navy in the fight against piracy, fuel smuggling and other maritime crimes. Ladies and gentlemen, I declare Ghana Navy Ship Volta, Ghana Navy Ship Dinsu, Ghana Navy Ship Pra and Ghana Navy ship Akombra, Ankobra, duly commissioned. I wish the officers and ratings of the Ghana Navy who will sail in these ships, fair winds and following seas. May God bless the Ghana Navy, the Ghana Armed Forces and us all. And may God bless our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention. <laughs>